Hey guys, it's me Protogenius back with another fun tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make landing gear for some of the many airplanes that I make. Uh, I've gone out and I've collected a couple of bottle caps here. There's a, here's a pop bottle lid. Uh, I have two milk jug lids and also one of my favorites here is these little Nestle uh, water bottle lids. Now the reason why I've collected these particular kind is because they make a really good little wheel. Uh, the way that these particular lids are made, it has a little ring on the inside right here. Now, a lot of other bottles, they have they have good lids, but they have a rubber seal on those. Those ones really won't work. You need the kind that has this seal, this ring on the inside of it like this. But there's a lot of different kinds. You can find these pretty easily, and it should be fairly cost effective for you. Now, you can use, I, I normally would use kitchen scissors, but I have time restraints here. I'm using this little this uh, razor cutter that I have. It's actually pretty nice if you have one. So uh, we're just going to use a regular pair of kitchen scissors to go ahead and cut around the edge. Now be sure to be super careful. Don't cut yourself while you're doing this. Uh, for my younger viewers, make sure, if, make sure to get an adult to help you with this and do not use your mother's fabric scissors to do this, you guys. Make sure you're using a pair of scissors that, that uh, can do this without damaging them. So. So we just go and cut the outside of that little edge off right here, just like that. And we're gonna just kind of clean up the edge here so it doesn't have little bumps on it so that that make the, uh, the airplane bounce around a lot. Just kind of clean it up nice and neat here. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and I'm gonna clean this up real quick here. Just gonna sweep this over the side. Okay, so what uh, what you're gonna do now is you're gonna grab a thumbtack, uh, something that's kind of sharp. But be really careful here, guys. Don't poke yourself. This particular kind of water bottle has a little divot in the center. It makes it a lot easier to find the exact center on this. It makes the wheel spin without being bumpy at all. I'm just going to kind of round that out a little in there. And now I'm going to take and I'm going to grab my X-Acto knife here. I'm just going to kind of put this on an angle really gently, really carefully. And I'm just going to spin the wheel a little bit. And just take a little that little edge off, the little burr that popped out from the thumbtack to where it makes the hole big enough to where the thumbtack can s or the wheel can spin on the paper clip without having any problems. So now we're just going to take our paper clip here. We've got a large paper clip and I'm going to take this and I'm going to straighten this out. Now you can do this all by hand but I prefer to have a pair of pliers when I do this part of it just because it makes it that much easier. There's no need to go and hurt your fingers. If you can just if you can do without it, it makes it a lot easier. You can see I straighten it out most of the way here. Now, normally you could bite it right here, but I like to use, if you have a pair of pliers that has this flat spot on it, but it doesn't have the knurling all the way to the end, uh, it's nice to be able to use that because it doesn't it doesn't chew up the metal on the uh, on the paper clip. So when we're bending it later, it, it's a lot more comfortable on your hands. It doesn't scratch you up and stuff. So I'm just gonna get this good and straight here. Spend a little bit of time on it. I, I like to roll it a little so you can see if it's if it's completely straight or not. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you know I'm I'm a little bit of a perfectionist about this kind of stuff. So Get that good and straight right there. And so now that once we've got that good and straight, we're gonna aim for the center right here. We're gonna go ahead and bend it back. Now, if you measure to the center, that's great. You can leave a mark there, or I just kind of did a little bit of guesswork on here and worked it around until it it was right in the center area. And I'm gonna bite this a bit, a little bit with the pliers. Now. Depending on the thickness of the airplane, you might want to leave the, you might not want to flatten this out too much, just so that it has enough space in there to fit the folds of the paper. So if you don't have enough of that space, it's going to want to fall off a lot. You want to be able to let it clamp on really good. So I'm just going to flatten this out a bit here, and then I'm going to go ahead and move down a little bit farther on here. And I don't, don't, you don't have to make these sit completely parallel with each other as you're doing this part. They can. You can kind of um, notice how they're kind of crisscrossed here. That's fine. Um, but make sure that when you fold them out this way that it makes it to where you can open up this little section in the middle when you put pressure on the sides of the paper clip. So now you should be able to um, slide a piece of paper right down the center of that piece. Now I'm going to take my pliers and I'm going to go ahead and grab onto the side right here and just bend this upwards a little bit. Just like this right here. Go ahead and twist that. And so now it should be able to... Uh, it should be pretty parallel with the ground when the wheel is sitting on there. And so I'm going to flip this over and do the same thing on the other side. 
just like this. just like that perfect and so I'm gonna use a ruler here to make sure that this is good and straight it's kind of a an easy way to figure out you can just use a straight edge even a piece of paper will work if you just have a straight edge that you can go off of I'm gonna kind of push this in a little and shape the metal to where it's the right size get this good and straight here the one thing I love about doing, using a paper clip to do this is a lot, most paper clips have a bit of spring to them and you can still bend them without too much difficulty, but it still bounces back if you, if it lands hard on the ground. Alrighty, so now I've just gone and taken another straightened out paper clip and I'm going to make the front landing gear. So I'm coming about, oh, it's about mm, between half an inch and three quarters of an inch here this is where I'm doing my bend and I'm doing, it's not an exact right angle, it's actually more of an acute angle. Uh, and so that way the it, it kind of goes over center when the wheel is attached to this so you don't want to bend it too sharp though because you want to have enough room for the wheel to spin in here now I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this right here on the single it's kind of in a seven shape and I'm gonna bend this back just a little like this to where it, it folds that piece down or it bends it down like that very good so now we're gonna take this and we're, I'm gonna grab this with the pliers here I'm going to roll this back just like this and like I said the reason why I like using paper clips is they have a bit of spring to them and now this as it goes um, we're going to make it right about the right size maybe just a little bit bigger than the size of where it would fit into the airplane and that way when it goes in it actually like fans out into that area and it locks this piece into the front of the airplane and it works really well so yep just like this so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our, uh, we're going to use a cutting board right here and we're going to use just a regular mini glue gun stick and we're going to cut little sixteenth inch uh, sections off of this, try to get them as straight as possible. Now these pieces are going to be used to lock the wheels on to the landing gear. So just go ahead and cut one, two, I'm, I'm going to cut two and then I'm going to skip ahead so you guys can, for just, just time restraints here on this video. If you need to pause the video and, and uh, kind of do it at your own pace, that's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm just doing this to show you how to do it. Alrighty, so now we're going to move ahead and uh, we're going to use a hole punch. And i just taken a section of, of pop bottle here. And this works great for doing what we're doing. And I'm just going to kind of go around the edge of this, just like this. And we're going to use the little circles that we're punching out for... Um, for the landing gear to go between the glue gun stick pieces and the actual wheel itself so it doesn't have very much friction there. Now a hole punch is like a dollar at Walmart so um, yeah they're, they're pretty easy to come by so I'm gonna go ahead and if you don't have a hole punch I guess you could cut them out but just be careful. So go ahead and we're gonna collect all of those now and I've taken a pen and I've pulled out the the tip part of it um, and I'm just going to use this thumbtack again and I'm going to push this right down onto the top of this and push the thumbtack er, into these little green sections here. Now that's what it's doing is it's creating a hole that that will allow this piece to slide onto our paper clip for the landing gear. So make sure as you're doing this, don't poke yourself, you guys. Be really careful. That's why I'm using the pen. I it's a really good way to push on these sections here without it, without getting poked as you're doing stuff. So now I'm just going to skip ahead now and do the same thing with our glue stick sections. Just really carefully pushing that on, just getting it started a little bit, and then I'm going to grab my pen section here and I'm going to push this on. Very good. Let's do that again. Yep. Just push this on like that, and we got a couple of these. Now, when you pull these off, you kind of need to kind of pull on it. See, as I twist it like this, it actually pulls some of the glue gun stick, and it kind of like covers the outside of the thumbtack. But if you yank it off, it goes quick. It works without sticking. So we're just going to stick these on to the axles now that we've just created. We're going to stick a glue gun stick section on there, just like this. Be really careful. I know I should be using the pen section right now, but they've already got holes on them for the most part, so it's not super hard. Just be careful because you can still hurt yourself. You can still poke yourself good with one of these thumb with one of these uh, paper clips. 
So we stuck on our pop bottle section and now for the lid set and the lid wheel I'm just gonna push another piece on here now just like this and we're gonna put on our final glue stick section just on the outside of that now don't pinch this completely tight on here you're gonna need to let it be a little bit loose uh, so that the wheel can spin around just like this So now we're just gonna speed this up a little bit here so we're gonna stick on our glue stick and then our pop bottle then the, the wheel and then the pop bottle and then the glue stick again and we're going to do the same thing on the front landing gear, just like this. Go ahead and stick that on there like that. Just put all of our pieces on there and make sure that there, that there isn't any of the glue stick touching on the wheel because that will slow it down. Because that rubber is kind of like putting a brake on it almost. And now we're going to take and we're going to put the landing gear on the airplane. now. It can't sit straight up and down like this. I actually need to take this and I need to tip this on a little bit of an angle with the pliers like this. And when I bend it like that, it actually toes the wheels out a little bit. So we're going to have to straighten the wheels out. I'm just going to take my pliers and carefully, without crushing everything here, just kind of twist it a little bit like that. And we're going to flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. And we're going to bend it the other direction here so that it makes the wheels parallel with each other and they're sitting at the right angle to go on the airplane. Now, this Cessna has been through a little bit. We've played with it a bunch. It's, uh, it's, it's seen some, some air time here, but the landing gear wasn't the greatest, so we're gonna put on a new nice set of landing gear here. So that's how the first, or how the back end sits on there. Now, the reason we tip the wheels back a little is so that they sit past the center of gravity on it, um, so it doesn't nose up every time you put it on the ground. So now we're going to take our front section and we're going to just insert it right like this here. Just push it on in here. And that's why we needed to make it that particular size on things. Now, you can see, since the wheels are pulled back far enough, it sits past center on the gra center of gravity and it keeps the nose down now. Well, thanks so much for watching my videos, guys. I love making these for you. Make sure that you thumbs up, comment, and subscribe on my videos. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Also, on the right here, you can find the seaplane landing gear for this airplane, and on the left, you can find the link to the Cessna that this comes from. Thanks so much, and we'll see you guys next time.